there were a lot of uh, theaters showing old movies, midnight movies, specialty movies. It was the revival house era. You know, I'd, I'd go down to the old uh, Park Square Cinema next to the Greyhound bus terminal, and I'd see a double bill of uh, Catherine Hepburn, Cary Grant movies, or I'd see the new Fellini movie. Um, you know, in a weird way, that's where I sort of got my education in movies. And then I was lucky to have some professors who really taught me how to think about movies kind of outside the box and think about them not just as consumer items or two-hour dramas, but really think about them in terms of popular culture and what they say and where they fit in and how they are all coming from different directions. For me, the most rewarding part of the job is when I can turn a reader onto a movie they might never have heard about or never ever have considered and make them say, I, I want to see that. And if they can go see it, well, you know, I believe that movies can change people's lives, can change people's attitudes. Uh, and so sometimes I'll get emails from readers saying, you know, I would never have heard of this movie if I hadn't read your review. But I went, I saw it, I loved it. It really made me think or really entertained me. And uh, for me, that's what gets me up in the morning. My name is Ty Burr, and I'm a movie critic for the Boston Globe.